Praise the Lord. Please take your seat. Those of us that came to worship, take your seat. Amen. Did you hear the second testimony? Oga boss embarrass her, but God show a better road. Private hospital to government worker, which one better? A government hospital now. And not be any high hospital. Hospital will matter. Lift up your two hands to heaven. By the reason of this service, God will visit you for a change of story. Before we go on, I'd like you to open a new page in your notebook. Those of you now will not get notebook. Open them for your new for your hand. What do you want right? Tie them to something. Tie this communion service to something. Tie it to something. I welcome you to this atmosphere of miracles tonight. And I decree that the God of heaven, the God of Oyedepo, will visit you for a change of story. Amen. Don't forget the month of October is the month of what? Obtaining mercy for Comprehensive helps bringing tea, which will be tea, total turnaround. Oh, for what? Obtaining mercy, C for what? Comprehensive helps, T for what? Total turnaround. Why? The heavens over your head, oh, must open finally. Amen. And be for a boom experience, blessing on overwhelming measures. E for exemptions from all forms of crisis. And R for restoration of years. Lift up your hands and claim this of the month of October. Lord, I obtain mercy this month. For comprehensive helps, let there be a total turnaround in my life. Lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Let the heavens over my life be open. Let there be blessing on overflowing, overwhelming measures. Exempt me from every crisis, curses, and crisis. In Jesus' special, lift up your two hands. I decree as you have said it, let it answer unto you. Amen. The Lord told us on Sunday that this three days shall be three days of waiting upon the Lord for visitations. And God visit his people by his word. Ezekiel 2 verse 2. And the spirit enter into me when he speak unto me. Every time God speaks via his servants, he moves via their words. Read this together one ago. And the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. Now, 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 how do you know God has visited you when there is a corresponding action? Anytime you come to church and you don't have any action to go and take after that service, you did not come to that church. You were not in that service. You were just sleeping through the service. That is why those who don't come to church 
without a notebook and a biro have told God they don't need his word. They don't need his touch. They don't need his turnaround. Show me a man who goes into God's presence without a biro or a writing instrument and a notebook. He has decided his faith before coming to church. God will never speak to that person. God does not speak to people who act like fools. He speaks to people who act wisely. Who is a wise man? He that hear the saints of the Lord and decided to do. And you can't do without writing down. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and see what the Lord has to say. As he speak, I will hear, I will paint pictures. And he said, write the visions. Everything I have said that you have seen, write it down. And when you write it, run with it. So when you see anyone that come to church without anything to write, without anything to go and do after that service, he has wasted that service. It's a waste of time, waste of destiny, waste of everything. Every revelation that leads to motion equals an encounter. Until there is a revelation backed up with action. But there's no encounter. But I spoke to the Lord to this evening while I was praying for you that God will give everyone a word that will make you have something to do after this service. It might be concerning your wife. It might be concerning your church. It might be concerning your children. It might be concerning your unit. I was in a service like this when God told me that your daughter's sudden sickness is not an hospital matter. It's an event, environmental challenge. Change her school. And as I left the church, I went home, called my wife, and changed the school. That was the end of it. No prayer. The Holy Spirit comes along with diverse gifts and manifestations to help us stay comforted. And that is why today we are looking at one of the ministry of the Holy Spirit, the ministry of helping us to gauge in the help of the Holy Spirit via the spirit of obedience. The spirit of obedience. Somebody shout the spirit of obedience. Say it louder. Make it bigger. How does the Holy Ghost help believers via the spirit of obedience? How? How does the Holy Spirit help us via his agency of the spirit of obedience? Number one, the spirit of obedience and graces believers for prompt obedience prompt obedience how in submission to God via his word without counting the cost or looking back without counting the cost or looking back. Ezekiel 36 and 27. Ezekiel 36 and 27. And every act of obedience is actually a passing, a divine test that qualifies us for a change of level. Abraham passed the text and his level changed. Genesis 22 and verse 1 to 3. Number two, how does the Holy Spirit help us? Very spirit of obedience. 
the Holy Spirit, via the spirit of obedience, grant us grace for supernatural drive. You don't know how, but you are supernaturally driven to act on a divine instruction in the right direction. The Holy Spirit helps us to act on divine instructions in the right direction. Not in your own understanding, but the, the divine pattern. So every time the Holy Ghost guides you, you are operating in the pattern of heaven. Therefore, by this communion today, God is going to create a clean heart for you. And God is going to put a new spirit within you. Psalm 51 verse 10 and 11. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, I tie this communion to a clean heart to work with you. The Bible said only the one with a pure heart will see God. So one of the reasons for this communion tonight, tie it to the cleansing and to the renewal of your heart to receive divine agenda so you can have a sustainable change of story. Ezekiel 36, 26, it is my prayer that a new heart will God give you tonight. Shout aloud, amen. amen. A new spirit. God will put in you tonight. It will take away every stony heart. Say, Father, take away every stony heart. Out of my life. Give me a heart of flesh. A heart you can touch. Lift your voice and talk to the Lord. Remove every stony heart from my heart. Give me a heart you can touch. A heart you can turn. A life and a heart you can help. Let us keep on the love of Yakatali and the love of Katalia. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. What are the benefits of obedience? Number one, every act of obedience opens a new chapter to the believer. Genesis twenty-six one to five. Isaac obeyed God. He entered his season of Rehoboth. In Genesis 26 verse 12. And in verse 22 he was already a champion. Number two. God will always make himself available and manifest himself to the obedient. John 14 21. John 14 21. Every time God finds an obedient man, he has found a man who will lavish his love on him. He that had my commandment and keep it there, he is he that has proven to love me, and I and my father will love him. We will reveal ourselves to him and will show him that we can do all things for him. Number three, obedience of faith engages divine presence which establish your all round dominion Exodus chapter 14 14 to 15 every breakthrough testimony is cheered up by obedience Genesis 21 26 1 to 14 why do we need a spirit of obedience why number one 
some instructions may be far above your natural capacity to handle you need the spirit of obedience to follow give me the grace to follow abundant grace to follow your grace to follow is by the spirit of the holy obedience number two order may be too devastating to comply with but when you have the spirit of obedience you can do all things through christ that strengthens you genesis 17 10 to 14 and 23 to 26 can you imagine Abraham was to sacrifice Isaac. It was tough. But the spirit of obedience made it easy. There are many of us who don't pay tithe today because you're imagining how do I pay tithe when the money isn't enough? But the spirit of obedience will help you to see that in that little thing, God has capacity to make it big. And make it it make every little thing where I do be like big Tino. You know? Your grace just to embarrass me. You know? I like it all. Oh, I like the way you they lead me. It you know? make every little thing where I do it be like big Tino. You know? Your grace make the difference. I like it all. Oh, that grace is from the spirit of obedience. You will discover from one titan to the other. <laughs> one titan to the other. You ain't gonna beat God given. Never. You can never beat God given. You will never be able to beat God given. One day, one of our leaders was to visit Asaba, and I was in worry. And the Holy Ghost told me that morning, as we are going, go with one thousand five dollar as a prophetic seed. Thank God, I had it by my bedside. So I picked the $1,005 and moved. As soon as I got to Asaba, oh, so you came? I said, I came, sir. Before I ever opened my mouth to give that seed, somebody said, oh, I've been looking for you since and gave me $3,000. So I said, okay, so maybe God wanted me to get $3,000, so I gave $3,000 and took by the $1,005. By the time I got back home, I got $5,000. You can never beat God given. One of the areas of difficulty in obeying God is tight. If you can just start tightening, life will go better for you. Many of the areas of difficulty is in soul winning. And the devil knows there's a payment for you there. He will never allow you to go for soul winning. Now they have announced 11 hours. That is, between now and Shiloh, you feel change your story. That is what 11 hour mean. Between now and Shiloh, your highway, God can make you, one of the things God want to do this year is to make you to head that department, to make you to head that office, to make your industry to be number one in industry, highway. But the 11 hour breakthrough of soul winning, has opened just to share good news and be a vendor 11 hours means register yourself as a vendor for the Lord every day for the next seven weeks every day somebody is hearing about Jesus for you from your mouth that's what it means via God is here via your personal via your calls 
But Satan knows that this is what you need to take over. He will not allow you. Reward of obedience. Reward of disobedience. Number one, it brings dethronement. When you disobey, you are dethroned. Look at Saul in 1 Samuel chapter 1. 1 Samuel and then 1 to 35. Adam and Eve were dethroned. Number two, it leads to death. Why? 1 Samuel chapter 15, 22 to 23. 1 Samuel 15, 1 to 35. Number two, 1 Samuel 15, 22 to 23. The sin, disobedience is like a sin of witchcraft. And Exodus 22 verse 18, suffer not for a witch to live but to kill him. So the moment you're on a journey of disobedience, you are registered for destruction. God is always angry with disobedience. Ephesians 2 verse 2, devastating wrath. Number one, the trauma. Number two, death. Number three, devastating wrath. Proof of obedience encounters of divine visitations. That's all. Therefore, you need a fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit to see you through. A fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit. My prayer is that according to Matthew chapter 3, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is much than I. Who shoes I'm not worthy, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. The Holy Ghost to empower you, the fire to defend you, rise on your feet. The Holy Ghost to empower you, the fire to defend you. Lord, baptize me afresh with a Holy Spirit. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Baptize me afresh with your spirit. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Everybody, every pastor, every worker, everyone, every deacon, every elder, lift up your two hands. Everyone, beginning from me, baptize me afresh, Lord, with the spirit, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Now listen, now in Jesus' name, you need a sustainable baptism. Once is not enough. The disciples were baptized once, but the time came. Outside Peter, all denied him. Once is not enough. You need a consistent daily baptism. That's why in Acts chapter 2, he baptized them. Acts chapter 4, he baptized them again with Holy Ghost and power. Father, I knew ever before. Everybody lift up your two hands and say, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, baptize me afresh with Holy Ghost and with fire. Lift up us and pray. Baptize me afresh with Holy Ghost and with fire. Jesus, baptize me afresh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fresh on me with Holy Ghost and fire from me, the resident pastor, to every pastor, to every district, to every pastor in the district, to every worker, every elder, deacon, worker, first timer, new convert, baptize us afresh. Hold your hands left and right, everybody, hold your hands left and right. Father, afresh upon the assembly, spirit of revival, everybody cry out to the Lord. Father, afresh on us, cry out to the Lord. Now ask the Lord, baptize us afresh, spirit of obedience, spirit of obedience, afresh, 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 cry out. Fresh! Now pray the Holy Ghost. Father, 
Thank you, Father. Hold your hands together. Receive a fresh baptism of the Holy Ghost. Receive fresh baptism of fire. Receive fresh baptism of the spirit of obedience. How many believe they have received it? Lift up your two hands. Take a very deep breath. Say, I receive it. Now take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. <sighs> Give Jesus a big head of praise. Clap your hands, somebody. Shout out God. If you know you have received it, jump and shout. Hey. Glory to God. Exercise just let that somebody that want to box the devil out of the environment. Hey! Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Satan has lost the battle tonight. Lift up your two hands. As far as you are concerned, Satan has lost the battle over your life. In Jesus' precious name. Yes, it don't done. Ha, 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 ha.